Thor's hammer is coming to Ark. Fjorda countdown begins. And a Fjorda tribute to a loving Ark fan. You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular Ark community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, the community crunch just dropped, and yes, Molnia is in the house. We have a new weapon that's coming to Fjorda in the shape of Thor's hammer, and it's actually apparently seemingly going to have some Molnia effects it seems looking at it in full scale it seems the devs aren't messing about of course integrating the three ob colors into the almighty hammer that you're going to be able to possess and is going to have tech abilities <laughs> what as the devs say acting as a functional weapon skin for the tech sword molnia packs its own special powers and empowers survivors with supernatural might devastate your foes with shocking ease as you exercise control over the element of lightning however not every survivor will pass the test and be considered worthy to obtain the mighty molnia will you be up to the challenge no it could simply just be a skin for the tech sword i don't know whether the devs are just over hyping it to make it seem like it's going to have new abilities but oh if it does I, i'm a big thor fan if you didn't notice already and if i can perform any powers with this i'm going to lose it <laughs> oh the funny thing is though this already exists on the map in the mod form Traveling to Asgard, one of the three portal realms within Fjorda, will take you to an area, a secret area that's locked away, that requires you to input a number of artifacts in order to access this particular area you're seeing right now. And there it is, right in front of us, Molnia in its mod form, not exactly looking like the hammer you see in the artwork. And yes, indeed, in the mod, it is just simply a skin. It's a very cool looking skin though, may I add. And making your way through there gives you access to the Desert Titan, or to fight the Desert Titan anyway, and try and tame it or obtain it as you would an extinction. And that kind of begs the question, is Molnia going to be in the same exact place as it was in the mud? The devs do say, will you be up to the challenge? And there is obviously a challenge within that. You've got to go and get three artifacts, the aberration artifacts, but I'm wondering whether they might switch it up if this is going to be perhaps the almighty reward within the game. Currently on Fjorda, Nakatas has got a great setup whereby there's three artifacts within the bus arenas that you have to go and get and they will allow you to fight the Scorched Earth Manticore boss. But what if it wasn't for that? Because good grief, every boss is in this game. They've got to cut something out. Perhaps they will switch it up so instead of those artifacts rewarding you to face the Manticore, you will instead use them to get the Thor hammer in the game. Maybe. That would be a great suggestion. That would be a great idea. I think would work quite well. And I'm just super hyped, hoping this is going to give some more abilities than just being a tech sword skin. Fjorda is shaping up to be an awesome, incredible map. If it's going to include the Titans, which I don't know, I think it might actually will. If the hammer is in the same location, it could certainly lead us to this terminal as it does in the map. And you are in for a treat. And speaking of treats, is this the first of many to come? Lest we forget, normally with map countdowns, as we get closer and closer to the map's official launch, we get drip fed stuff every week or almost every week. Genesis 2 in particular was quite a beastie one that, yeah, we got a lot. I think three times a week we were seeing new stuff towards Genesis Part 2 as we counted down to it. Now, probably not going to be as deep as that, although there are meant to be a lot of new changes to this mud map, to its official form. I do think this is the start of perhaps a countdown, a showcase of things to come as we get closer to the map. This could be the very, very start of it. And what a start. Although it's gonna have a bit of an effect on admins and that banhammer now. With a quick reminder, if you're not up to speed, Fjorda is out of June this year so far. The devs have reconfirmed it. It is still on track for June 2022. And yeah, it's a free map as far as we know. It's not a DLC map, although they are seemingly treating this as a DLC map. They are really going all out with this alone. This is something very new that we've not seen in a mod map before. Stuff like this, Thor's hammers. <laughs> I'm so hyped for it. So, can't wait. Let's see what comes next. 
So some heartfelt news, especially for those ARK OGs out there. Uh, I, I got word recently from a member of the dev team that when Fjorda comes out, there will be something created within the map in paying homage to a massive ARK fan, uh, especially of Eco's mods as well, I, I understand. And yeah, sadly passed uh, in, in recent times, uh, Chrissy the Blesser. Uh, she was well known in the ARK community from a very early stage. Uh, a lot of people knew knew who Chrissy was out there. And yeah, the devs got in touch to let me know that they are going to create some form of memorial within the map for Chrissy, which is a real, real lovely thing to see. It's not the first time, of course. If you recall, something was built in Valguero as well. And it's just a real nice touch from the devs to show that compassion to some of the biggest fans, avid fans out there, that, and how much you know they really mean to them to go to that length and do something for them i think it's such a cool thing for them to do and yeah i just wanted to share that i'm looking forward to what that's going to be of course there's a shrine room already on fjorda on the mud map and i was wondering how they was going to tackle that because it involves a lot of names i'm not sure the devs would love to see when it comes to official or maybe they do maybe they don't maybe i'm overlooking it far too much but maybe they're going to integrate something within that and perhaps pay homage through that shine room instead and yeah it's just a lovely thoughtful thing for the devs to do that i just wanted to share that you know through arcs seven years of running stuff like this sadly happens and i'm sure i've, I've heard plenty of stories of people going through that sometimes with people they've met through arc you know it's it's a real shame when it happens and at least we can do something and it's really really cool of the devs to be able to do this so i just yeah wanted to shout them out for for working towards that and just a big shout out to chrissy a loving arc fan speaking of more arc fans the community corner was run again shouting out a bunch of awesome creators of artwork screenshots videos cypher getting a mention cypher's a great dude but i had to recognize that they shouted out the main man your boy terrifier he's finally made the cut and it's great to see terrifier has done some wonderful epic videos out there he truly has joining arc perhaps a little later than some players out there he certainly took to it like a moth to a flame and i'm sure you know by now we collab with each other on the monarchy servers in fact i've known terrifier for a good while now i think well over a year now we've been speaking for yeah about a year and a half and it's a real joy to see how far Terrifier has grown, and he has grown dramatically. He's currently beyond 100k subs. There he is, 113k subs. With some just stellar edited videos out, he really does create inspiration, giving me a load of ideas myself. I've probably robbed a few ideas off him here and there, and vice versa. You know, it's a back and forth thing. And yet, just a big congratulations to Terrifier. Please do go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. And there we go, that completes your news for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, comment below. Let me know, are you excited as I am for Thor's Hammer? Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't be this excited, but I really am. It doesn't get much bigger for me than Ark and the MCU put together. Yes, I know it's not MCU Thor's Hammer, but I can just pretend it is, and you can too. <laughs> My name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, ah. Uh, I'm just going to, whoop, there we go. <laughs> Peace out.